Hey gearheads and welcome to Grouse Shock. I'm Corey and I am standing next to a 15 year newer version of the last full size pickup truck I owned. Yes, this is the newly refreshed 2022 Chevrolet Silverado with a new face, but very familiar components even 15 years after I owned one. In this video, I am gonna tell you why this and the GMC Sierra cousin to this vehicle are catching up and actually have surpassed the Ford F-Series as the best full-size pickup truck platform on the market. Because, let's face it, this is a darn good truck. All right, before we get started with this one, I wanna thank Franklin and the team over at Pelche Chevrolet here in Tyler, Texas for loaning me this vehicle today to really check out and share with you. If you are in the East Texas area and are checking out a Chevy vehicle, go see Franklin and tell him GT Garage Talk sent you. I'll put a link to their website so you can check out their full inventory down in the description below. As for this specific truck, this is the 2022 year model with the updated front face. And this is an RST model, which means everything up here is body color. So you get painted red uh, grills and this looks very classy. I really like the RST look. I just don't know that I'd go with a bright red, even though it matches my Biggie Texas hat very nicely. But being a 2022, you get updated headlights and this updated running light and LED turn signal. It's much larger and easier to see from other vehicles. So I really like that Chevy increased the brightness and visibility of the turn signals and the running lights here. You still get that functional air curtain to bring air around the front of the truck, but gone are those like bulldog jowls of the last uh, generation, the last uh, face on the truck. This one does have the Z71 off-road package, so you do get tow hooks up front, but you have to get the Trail Boss to get the red ones. So if you really wanna look off-roady, get the Trail Boss. Otherwise, I really like the new look of the 2022s. You get to see Chevy is bringing up the bow tie up right underneath the hood to be in line with the Silverado EV and the just announced 2023 Colorado. So this is the new corporate look for Chevy trucks, bringing that bow tie up and allowing more airflow down here in the lower grill. Coming all the way down here, we actually get LED fog lights, which is a very nice touch. And I just believe the entire front end is a very cohesive look. Pop the hood here, and this particular model has the 5.3 liter V8 engine mated to a 10 speed automatic that was co developed with Ford. When I had my 2007 Silverado, I also had the 5.3 liter V8, and not a whole lot major has changed with this engine, just some fine tuning and refinements over the year as well as some active fuel management touches. This particular 5.3 makes 355 horsepower and just over 380 pound-feet of torque and will get 19 mpg on the highway. Yes, it's a good engine, sounds good, and let's actually move back to the back to see what it sounds like when you fire it up. Moving to the side of the pickup truck, you can really see the size of this truck. I'm 5'10", and I have to get a good running start to get in this one without any side steps. This is a Z71 model, so you get a Z71 decal up here on the front fender, no longer on the back of the bed. If you want a sticker on the back of the bed, you'll have to upgrade again to that Trail Boss. Speaking of the Trail Boss, this gets Trail Boss inspired black painted 20 inch wheels wrapped in these Goodyear Wrangler Trail Runner multi-terrain uh, tires. They, they are aggressive, but they are not the most aggressive tires on the market. They'll do a good job. 
Included with that Z71 package is hill descent control and some under, underbody protection as well, some skid plates and the like to make sure you stay protected down there. This is a crew cab model. You do have Chevy's quick access doors right here. You push the button to unlock, push it again to lock it, but you don't get it on all four doors here on this RST model. Just a small minor nitpick. And then moving back here to the back, this bed is much larger than the bed that was on mine. This whole truck just feels much larger than my 2007. And it has grown incrementally over the years. 15 years later, it feels very familiar, but it has definitely gotten bigger. <laughs> One additional touch I wanted to bring you closer to see here is the paint protection that Chevy puts down here on the lower portions of the body. You can actually see it is textured and it runs all the way down the bottom of the cab and right up here in front of the rear wheel well just to help protect against paint chips, rock chips, whatever the case may be when you're off-roading or just taking full advantage of that Z71 package. Moving back here to the business end of the Silverado, this one has a standard tailgate, not the multi-flex tailgate. It's my understanding that within the halls of General Motors, there was a little tailgate war rivalry going on between Chevy and GMC. Chevy bet big on the power opening and closing tailgate, where GMC put the tailgate within the tailgate, branding it the Multi-Pro. A few years later, Chevy yanked that design and called it the Multi-Flex tailgate, but this one just gets your standard tailgate. There is a button here on the key fob to remote release it, and it is very light and very easy to open and close. Opens up to a spray-in bed liner on this one. This is actually a Chevy branded spray-in bed liner. And I really like the much larger side steps here on the bumper that make it very easy to climb in to the back of this Silverado. In addition to the spray-in bed liner back here, we actually have LED lighting from the back and on the back of the cab that really makes using this space at night very reasonable and practical all the way around. This is a very good, very functional bed. And because Chevy did not do aluminum, you don't have to worry about what you throw in here and puncturing holes like some other brands. Moving inside the new Silverado, again, very familiar, but also very updated for the 2022 model year. You get this awesome dual screen display here with a very large wide center infotainment screen and a full color gauge cluster back here behind the steering wheel. This RST model has the luxuries inside. Lower trims actually carry over the old interior, which in and of itself was almost a carryover of the previous generation. But in this RST, you really, really get a nice interior. One of the nicest in the segment now that Chevy invested and changed it up a little bit in here. There is a little bit of black plastic around the gauges and the center screen. But other than that, I really have no complaints in here. It is very nice, really emphasizing the width of this truck. We'll talk a little bit more about it when we're driving, but let's move to that back seat and just see how cavernous that back seat is. Hopping in the back seat of the Silverado, I really like the grab handles on the side here. And you can see I am sitting behind myself at 510. There is an embarrassment of room back here in this crew cab pickup truck. I really like the Z71 branded full rubber floor mats that really would go well with my family and my four-year-old. We do have the cloth seats in this one, and they are not the upscale seats with the hidden storage in the seat back, which also means you don't get a fold down center armrest, but you do get a couple of cup holders here on the back of the center console, as well as a USB-A and USB-C, and a couple of air vents. No real luxuries back here on this RST model, and that's okay because this really is more of your everyday family truck, work truck, 
as the case may be. I really like, and very familiar from my 07 model, how easy Chevy makes it to flip and fold the 60-40 split bench rear seat. No latches, no levers to pull. You just lift it up and it is up and out of the way. Nearly flat load floor in this model. And then just give it a nice firm tug and it folds back down. I absolutely love it. This is the best flip and fold rear seat in the business. And yes, I'm a little biased there but even when I had this platform in 2007, they had the same rear seat function and I really liked it. Lower latch points are really easy to find for child seat installation as well because there are cutouts here in the back of the seat and they are actually painted body color. So in this bright red model against these dark uh, cloth seats, they really stand out and are easy to access. All right, gearheads, getting in to the 2022 Chevy Silverado. The story really is the updated dash and center console. I really like it. You get Google interface here. So General Motors has finally realized, you know what? Tech companies could probably do this better than us. So Google now controls the entire interface here and it works very well. And yes, it does work with Apple products. Speaking of Apple products, Qi wireless charger right there that fits my 12 Pro Max. Really good and convenient spot right there. So I can see it at a glance, but it's not distracting. It is right underneath the massive center console that has a pull out lid here. You can hang file folders and it is actually quite deep and massive. USB-A, USB-C in here, and then a household style plug in there as well. So very convenient center console and again i really like the location of that chi wireless charger you can store some pins here a couple cups and just all kinds of goodies here interesting i i miss the column shifter different trims do still retain the column shifter but you get an electronic uh prindle so to speak right here not the biggest fan you do have to have your seat belt on to shift into park or shift out of park but uh, really easy to use when you get used to it. Shift in to reverse and you do get a rather good rear uh, camera back there in the back. This particular model does not have the 360 and you can see it doesn't fill up the full screen, but you can get your trailering line or your dynamic turn lines right here to let you know exactly where your truck is going to end up. Very nice, and you don't have to push the side button to shift to and from reverse and drive, uh, only when shifting out of park. And then to put it back in park, just push the button right there. But let's actually get this thing out on the road and see how it drives. I, I miss having a full-size pickup truck. Full-size trucks are the family vehicle of Texas. Texas is one of the reasons why the Ford F-Series is the best-selling vehicle on the market and the best-selling single nameplate on the market. I have to make that qualification because this and the GMC Sierra have actually outsold the F-150 here very recently. And that's because Chevy and GMC are putting out really good products. And I believe this new interior is one of the best in the business and will be enough to sway some less loyal buyers away from the other brands and into something from General Motors. As far as driving dynamics, this one does have the 5.3. It does have the fuel management system, but I have not noticed it being overly aggressive, kicking in or doing anything weird. You're able just to drive it down the road and it finds the right amount of cylinders to use uh, for the power that you need while cruising. That does allow up to 19 MPG on the highway, which is really good for a full-size pickup truck. And a lot of that goes down to this being a Z71 model. It is lifted, less aerodynamic. Those tires are a little more aggressive, less fuel friendly. So you can get more fuel efficient trucks from the Silverado nameplate, including that 2.7 liter turbo four, which does a bang up job sipping the fuel. So there are other options if you're looking purely for a big truck with good fuel economy. I absolutely love the gauges 
back behind the steering wheel on this one with that color screen back there in the back. Very easy to read at a glance, very quick uh, information at a glance. Very nice, I like it a whole lot. It is fairly customizable as well. And there is a little image of my truck here in the tack on the right that I can change with the different drive modes as I select through them. In the middle of the speedometer on my left, I actually have a compass. So I think this is one of the better digital gauges I've seen in a full-size pickup truck. We had the Ford F-150 King Ranch, and that one just felt a little too futuristic for my taste. Uh, I sampled it later in the F-150 Lightning, and it felt like it fit a little bit more in that one. But in a gas-powered truck, I think this, again, showing my brand biases just a little bit, this is the better gauge and screen setup of all of the full-size pickup trucks. Ford and Ram are both going with those tall vertical uh, screens here in the middle as well, whereas Chevy and General Motors have claimed that they are going to stick to the horizontal to really emphasize the width of their vehicles. And this one really is nice and wide. You can get three across in the back seat, no problem whatsoever. And if I didn't have the center console here, if I just had the bench seat, you could get three across here in the front. That really is a game changer when everybody seems to want a three row SUV, but most of them really only sit six people anyway. Get a full size truck with a bench front seat. You're gonna be using all the seat configurations just about as much as you would in a three row SUV. And uh, this is definitely a more convenient package all the way around because you've got that huge truck bed back in the back uh, for taking all the dirty stuff that you don't want in the vehicle with you. The ride in this speed bump, it is definitely a truck, there is no hiding that. When you've got a body on frame vehicle, uh, there is gonna be a little more stiffness, a little more rigidity uh, to driving it down the road and it feels like a truck. But comparing it to a, my 2007 model from 15 years ago, this one definitely rides a whole lot better and more smoothly. This really is an amazing riding pickup truck that is making me jealous and miss my truck all the month, all that much more. Speaking of bench seats up front, when I had mine, I had the same center console configuration. I had leather seats, but honestly, now at 35, year old, 35 years old, I think I would go cloth seats, bench seat over the center console setup. Again, that would get me to my column mounted shifter and away from this electronic center console shifter, but I would be giving up this Qi wireless charger and some other conveniences here in the middle, but you still get this full new dash if you go with higher trims. Again, lower trims still get a carryover of the old dash, which again, in and of itself was a carryover more or less from the generation before it. Visibility out of this vehicle is excellent. The big windows mean that I can see everything. I am sitting above everyone in this one. I really feel like I'm on top of the world and there's no harm for visibility. I can see the corners of my hood in front of me. The rear view mirrors are large and help me see everything around me. And the driver's side rear view mirror actually has a uh, smaller section with an even wider field of view to help me see even better. There really is no bad visibility lines in this vehicle. I can even see the tailgate in my rear view mirror here. All your controls are very easy to access in this one. You get a row of toggle switches here, including your tailgate release right here and your traction control, hill descent control, which comes with this Z71 model and then your lane keep assist right here. Uh, there are a few blanks, which I don't necessarily love that there are blanks. Just reminds you that you didn't get the nicest one. But other than that, the controls are very nice. They're really easy to access and get to. And then 
your climate controls also very easy to read very quick and easy to find what you need while driving down the road you do have a dual zone climate control which i like very much and in this rst model you do get heated seats up front and with general motors you can either heat both the seat and the backrest or just the backrest you know to ease some of that tension from a long day on the job site i intentionally turned down this older less well-kept road to further test how this truck rides when the road gets less than smooth and there are no creaks no rattles in here it is very whisper quiet in this full-size truck and yes again it it does have truck stiffness to it but it is nothing like trucks of even 10 15 years ago General Motors is doing a bang up job making their trucks ride better and better with each and every generation. And this one is of no exception. Price. So uh, one thing I don't necessarily like about full size trucks anymore is the price. Inflation has hit, all kinds of stuff has changed the market since I bought my truck. I bought mine, which was actually better equipped on the inside for the time at $37,000. This one that I am driving now, granted it is a 4x4, mine wasn't. This one does have Z71 package, mine didn't. This one does have the upgraded wheels and tires, mine didn't. But this one stickers for $58,000. But for $58,000 in today's market, you are actually getting quite a lot and just all of the room for passengers on the inside of this one is reason enough to consider shopping in the full-size truck segment. And then lastly, this 5.3 definitely has enough power to get up and go. It does not feel sluggish uh, pulling this full-size truck around. Chevy has added a bunch of aluminum over the years. Uh, for body panels to reduce the overall rate weight of this vehicle and even though the truck is getting bigger and bigger uh, the weight is actually going down over the years and over time as time goes by so yes she may be bigger but she doesn't necessarily weigh more than she did before this really is a good truck and i don't think you would need the 6.2 but it's there if you want it if you want to see what we're driving before it is here on YouTube, be sure and go and find us on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok, all at GT Garage Talk. If you want to make sure you don't miss another review whenever it drops, be sure and hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you're notified every time we drop a new video. Huge thanks to our friends here at Pelche Chevrolet in Tyler, Texas for loaning us this vehicle today. Well, gearheads, that about does it for my time here with this 2022 Chevrolet Silverado RST Z71. At $58,000, it is not a cheap rig, but you get a lot for your money. From that 5.3 liter V8 engine under the hood, making 355 horsepower and getting up to 19 mpg on the highway you can cruise for quite a ways on a full tank of gas in this the updated styling up front really gives this a much more classy look than the outgoing model and the interior is vastly improved one of my favorites in the industry for sure even 15 years after owning my last silverado i still find a lot to like and a lot that is familiar with this 2022 model and there is a reason Chevy and GMC combined have steadily overtaken the Ford F-Series for the best-selling full-size pickup truck platform. Yes, they're two separate brands, so Ford can still claim to be the best-selling vehicle, but when you think about it, most of the components on both of these trucks are the same. I really like this one. Yes, brand biases aside, there are no bad full-size pickup trucks on the market, but I think this is where I would put my money. Again, just going back to that familiarity factor. It's just like going home. If you are in the market for a full-size Chevy truck or anything else, be sure and hit up my friends over at Pelche Chevrolet here in Tyler, Texas. Again, I will put a link to their website so you can see their full inventory down in the description below. Ask for Franklin, 
tell them GT Garage Talk sent you. But as for me, I'm going to enjoy what little time I have left remembering the good old days of my last Silverado and contemplating whether or not I want to keep this one for myself. Till next time. Bye. Wrapped in Goodyear Wrangler. Blah, 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 blah. This one just has your standard tailgate and it's locked. Frick. You're not even on.